So today we're doing a full bush install of a winch we just got, and it's looking like I'm gonna have to take this thing to the front of the car to get it to fit. I did not enjoy that at all. Oh yeah, and the winch that we got is the new Ultra Winch PDX Mark IV. I'm gonna to touch on why we got this one as well in a little bit. Let's just start getting it in there. So we're up. one, two. All them ones and then two or three more on each side. And then we'll just be able to take the front of the bar off, but keeping the mounting bracket on, because we need to get to the grill with the recip saw. As you can see, it's literally sitting right on the plate that the winch needs to mount to. So it's gonna get into the winch box first. Uh, the reason we went with it is because it has seven year like electrical and water warranty, and then also a full lifetime warranty, which is pretty cool. And I think it weighs about 20 kilos, which is pretty bloody light for how strong it is. That looks sick. And then this other one is like your wiring harness and stuff. Oh, another good thing about this, it actually has a proper wireless remote, no plug in a dongle in or anything. It's just permanently connected. And then you also have an in-cab controller as well. I'm gonna save you from this long bit of the process, but I have to take a bunch of these Allen keys out and stuff like that. So enjoy the 30 seconds it's gonna take for you, but probably hour for me. So a bunch of these Allen keys are like threaded on the top. So they're basically circular. So as long as I can get these bottom three out, these bash plates are just gonna come with the bar and hopefully I'll still be able to get it all out like that. So we're fast forwarding a bit now. The bar is still on, but we have two bolts left and I have to hold the weight and Loz is gonna undo the last ones. So that was a bit of a mission, but it is now off. Why do I kind of like the look of that? So one issue, I kind of knew that this was gonna happen because I had a little peek in here before. <coughs> The grill is just a little bit in the way. So we're gonna have to take it off and start cutting, which is gonna be fun. So we're just gonna hold the winch in place roughly and Loz is just gonna mark it out so we know exactly where to cut and we don't end up with half a grill missing for no reason. So most cars, you're probably not gonna have to do this. It's just because mine has such a big grill and they didn't chop it off when they put the bull bar on because it fit in there without it. I'm kind of a little bit scared to do it because if I stuff it up and go too far, it's gonna look really bad and would be super expensive just to replace the whole front grill. First, making sure there's no wires or anything. So we're going from here to here, back, and then just taking these little notches here off and then it should fit. Here goes nothing. I did not enjoy that at all. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to need to cut a little bit more off, but I undercut it on purpose just in case it does fit. There's part of my grill gone. All right, let's go. I mean, the width is good, but more is gonna to have to come out of the high. Now this back here. Gonna to have to cut a little bit for the clutch here. Does its job. So as you can see, we've got everything here laid out on the table. Winch, it's got the in-cabin controller. I'm assuming it works off some sort of splitter. And then this is your typical handheld remote, the control box, wiring, uh, the shut off for the engine bay, big old hook, uh, the mounting bracket for that, breather kit, which is wicked, these things, handy mounting bolts. Also never showed you, this is the proper wireless remote. No cords, no dongles you have to plug in, just ready to go straight away. Color-coded wiring. I'm gonna wire it up here, but I have to take it apart to then put it in the car properly. But I'll just quickly show you. The yellow, red, the ground. And then you also have this little one, which goes onto a earth on the back, but the big one from the battery also goes to here. So I'll not be running that one. So it's quickly calling it quits for today because this loop here is a bit low. Oh, the control box is super slim, but we can't get it in on the angle that it needs to to fit in there. So we're just gonna lift that off. And then once we've done that, uh, we'll be able to connect the terminals up, slide back in and bolt it down. And then it will be pretty quick to finish off from there. So we'll see you tomorrow. So hopefully this is the last time this winch is ever off this car chucking in the mounting hardware. I mean, it's still pretty crazy that all that holds a winch on is four bolts. The next step we're gonna be doing is running the little breather kit and then probably go to this side of the engine bay, obviously, because that has all the battery cables and dual battery stuff running through. It's a bit more cluttered, so we just have heaps of space over here. So it's gonna plug the hose on to the fitting or cable tie onto this little loom here. So I've gone up through here, back behind the air intake of the snorkel. So how perfect's this? We have a threaded hole already that we're gonna use. This means we don't have to be putting extra holes. Apparently it's always best to cut these with scissors. So now we have the switch thing we've got to put in. Oh, we're gonna mount it just up here. It was just the included self tappers. So now we're just running the wire that's going to that switch straight through the grill around the back. And we're gonna put this just up on the bonnet for now. Um, while we do the rest and probably put the bar back on because if not it's going to be real tricky to maneuver around So we have ran the cable I've disconnected the other half but that goes through to the cab and then we have this rocker switch But I broke a prong off so I'm gonna to have to source a new one which is great And then now on to the next step now we get to chuck this thing on 
it's in there, it looks good. It's the hook. Just gotta compress it on. On the rope though, <laughs> don't do it, we're not on the rope. Hook goes, so the pin goes straight through, expands this, and then we'll come out this side. Well, go flush to that side. And then you have to get something solid. I'm gonna struggle with this because I don't really have anything to sit it on and just bash that through. Hopefully a bit of wood will work. I also don't have a hammer. Got it. You have to give it a fair bit of force. So now for the fun part, putting the bull bar back on. It's gonna be... So we have one side oh, with two bolts on the two different mounting sections, but it is hard because you have to bolt and then mount, and then you have to put another uh, washer in, and then there's the other half of the mount. So I'm normally using another washer to push it into the right spot and then try and slide the bolt in at the perfect time. Hard. We ended up having to remove the bar four times to get it to fit on perfectly. It's just really tricky with only two people and nothing really to hold the bar in the perfect position. I don't know whether I should do a quick test fire of the winch, so finish off the wiring just to make sure everything's working fine before I finish off finish it off. It's probably a smart idea. I'm going to do that. Sweet. So now we have that wired up. Winch is in. Just need to do the bash plates underneath. And then all that's left to do, negative terminal, positive terminal, the battery. So do all that and then also pre-tighten it, but I think we'll do that somewhere else. And then also set up the remotes and stuff and make sure that they're all working so when we need to use it, it's good to go. So it's all wired up. Got the controller here, just gonna plug it in and then turn the car on and test it. Working. So I haven't even tested this yet, but I'm pretty sure all you do is push on. It works. That's so handy. So the last step is just pre-tensioning the rope. We're just gonna move over there to do it. And we're gonna try and make it a bit neater on the spool as well. And hopefully this is nice and easy and then we can get out of here. We've been here for two days now. It's all done now. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.